This year marks the 155th anniversary of the holiday, June 19th, better known as Juneteenth. The holiday originated in Galveston, Texas, when Blacks there learned that they were freed. The interesting part of that story is that Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves with the Emancipation Proclamation two years prior to that. But word didn't spread very quickly because slave labor was still seen as a hot commodity in the United States. While we celebrate Juneteenth, the slaves there, the first thing they did was thank God and the second thing they did was have a big party. That then led to the holiday spreading across the United States to today when people, many people, celebrate that holiday much like they did July 4th. As the unofficial holiday holds a special connection for Kansas in that many of freed slaves moved to Kansas as the Exodester movement. While I am a fourth generation Kansan, I did not grow up celebrating Juneteenth on a regular basis, but I heard about it because my mother, who lived in Alma and around Paxico and McFarland, she tells stories of annually they got together and had huge picnics and her dad was a band member and he played the banjo and people celebrated and recognized this holiday as a, a real time of celebration. For me, as an individual that grew up in Topeka, I didn't personally celebrate in big fashion Juneteenth until about 1976 when my neighbor then was Jimmy Bullocks and Shirley Wisham, who both originated and brought Juneteenth to Topeka, Kansas in a big way. And so there was celebration at the park and there was food and camaraderie. And it's a time that I look back on my life, much like my mother did, a time of celebration. As we enter this season in our nation, it's a time where we have an opportunity to look back at the proposition on which America was founded, and that is that all men were created equal. We're not always seeing that in this day, but I hope we use Juneteenth this year as a time of celebration, unity, and respect.